Today we're talking about Duke Nukem. <laughs> Not that one. Oh. Guys, how does this happen? How does a game franchise have a really gigantic icon that is like the poster child for first person shooters? And out of all the games that ever featured this character, only one of them was any good. I wish I had an answer for you, but I don't. I'm not a history guy, I'm a working man. I just play games to hide my crippling depression and block out the voices in my head. Stick your dick in a toaster, it'll be fine. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Now, for those of you who don't know Duke Nukem very well, you probably think there's only two games. And you would be excused for doing so because that is the most famous and infamous one. Some people already know there were two side-scroller Duke Nukem games before 3D, but did you know between Duke 3D and Duke Forever, there were four games in between them. Actually five, but we don't talk about Critical Mass. I mean, look at it for fuck's sake. And there was a side-scrolling PC game called Duke Nukem Manhattan Project, which was based on the early DOS games. It's not bad, but there's not much to say about it other than it's not bad. It was made by Sunstorm Interactive. Yeah, the deer hunter people. Remember my first episode? We looked at all that shit? My god, you think my videos are bad now? You should have seen my old shit. Why did I think people wanted to see my face? I make blind kids cry. The first game we're gonna be looking at is Duke Nukem Time to Kill. It was developed by a company called Space. And guys, let me tell you, looking at the list of games Space made does not inspire confidence. Do you remember when Call of Duty was on the DS? It's their fault. These people made a Duke Nukem game. Gameplay footage, and this is the most basic bitch title screen I've ever seen. It's just a demo of the game playing by itself and some simple text. For some reason, the demo runs like shit. It looks like 10 FPS, but the game itself runs fine. I don't get that. I tried changing this game speed thing, but I still to this day have no idea what this does. Maybe it makes you feel better. It's time for Dookie Nukie to take a big dookie. So we have a third person Duke Nukem game, and Max Payne has not come out yet to show us how third person shooters are supposed to control, so we have tank controls. Yippee! <laughs> We've got auto aim too. Lord knows our console boys need that. What's that? You want to manually aim? Well, how about this pseudo first person aiming shit? I mean, it works okay, but it does make it kind of hard to see what you're shooting at. Well, this is definitely a Duke Nukem game. The first level has a strip club. Check out this texture, it's doing the PlayStation stretch. Oh, we're gonna leave the strip club for now and what the fuck is that? Oh, whoa, what's this? Okay, what furry drew this? Whose OC is this? Speak up. That sounds about like furries, always shoehorning their OC into anything they can. Here's Dixie, by the way. But we're not done feeling awkward just yet. Check this out. Turn out the lights and I'll show you the meaning of pain. Sure thing, Miss Polygon Boobs. Polygon Boobs. Now, I've heard that before. But where? Also, when you enter this room, there's two pig cops in here with this dominatrix lady. I guess pig cops love CBT. Let me go ahead and show you the worst thing in the entire game. The jump. Watch this shit. Wahoo! This jump is so shitty and sluggish, I can't stand it. You can roll too, and it has absolutely no purpose at all. Jumping is so unintuitive in this game. You have to get a really good running head start before you can even jump forward. And once you jump forward, you have absolutely no control over your jump. You are fucking dedicated. Grabbing on the ledges is weird too. You would think Duke would automatically grab onto a ledge, but no, you have to push the jump button, then press a different button to grab onto a ledge. He will at least climb a small ledge, but he needs a million fucking frames of animation before he'll do it. Guys, slow is the word of the day. Everything feels slow. And it doesn't help there's a bunch of water areas that slow you down even more. And the game is gonna put a turret right here where I have to walk slow. Look at this, look how slow it is. It's actually faster for a stalagmite to grow one inch. Okay, maybe I need to explain that. When you're in a cave, you notice how there's spikes coming out of the ceiling of the cave? There's also some that stick up out of the floor. The floor ones are stalagmites. Stalagmites grow 0.037 thousandths of an inch every year. So to grow 
one inch, it would take 27 years. Damn, I've passed kidney stones faster than this. This place where I was showing you how the jumping works is probably my most unfavorite part of the game. Probably because it took me so damn long to adapt to the shitty controls of this game that I kept falling down in this little pit and kept having to crawl back up this stupid block right here. Uh, seems like every bad game has that one thing. The Grinch had the poles. This has got the jump mechanic. You know what's weird though? Something really strange. I can't shake the feeling that I played this game before. Even though I can't stand the way Duke controls, I feel like I've played another game that did this better somehow. Okay, if I haven't spelled it out for you already, I'll let the game do it. You skanky outfit. That's right, it's a blatant ripoff of Tomb Raider and it knows it. Tank controls, sluggish jumping and climbing, PS1 blocky graphics, this is Tomb Raider. As a matter of fact, the journalists used to call this game Duke Raider. Kind of like how people call me the angry redneck game nerd, if anyone actually watched my videos. So where does the time in Duke Nukem Time to Kill come in? Well, Duke just happens to find a time machine in the middle of a sewer. He sticks three MacGuffins in it that he found in the level? Time flies when you're kicking ass. And off he goes to give the level designers a reason to do different themes. There's a new sheriff in town. Oh god, Duke in a cowboy hat is something I didn't know I needed to see. You know I have not once mentioned the weapons in this game? I guess it's because I don't have a problem with them. The pistol is good, the shotgun is good. That's the one thing that's solid. I don't feel underpowered. God in heaven, give me the strength to continue playing this crap. Weird question. What if Duke was religious? Pray to the king, baby. <laughs> I found one thing this game has in common with Duke 3D. I get lost extremely easily. Of course, that might be because I suck at boomer shooters. They're my favorite games in the world, yet I'm terrible at them. I actually found every single secret that was on this level, yet still couldn't find where I was supposed to go. After turning over every stone in this level, I found these pieces of paper. It doesn't tell you what these pieces of paper are, you're just supposed to figure out by yourself that they are the combination to this big safe in the bank. That's some tarnished looking gold. I wonder... You know, I haven't used the rocket launcher yet. What's it like? That is the ugliest weapon I've ever seen in my life. Looks like you're off the hook, Styrog. After so many hours of mindlessly running around, I finally did get out of this level and got onto this mine level that's called... What? What the fu- No, 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 no. I am taking a shit shovel to a big pile of no. Who looked at this and thought this was okay? Look, game, I know you're making a joke, but the vast majority of people I know won't know what you're talking about, and this sounds extremely wrong in the wrong context. I know what you're trying to do, and it's not funny, like this bit. So I make it to the level which will not be named, and it looks like we're gonna do some Climbing, baby. I guess Duke really does have time to kill. I've got other things I could be doing. Oh god, he's even slower sideways. Ugh. You know, Duke climbing up this wall needs the music. You know what music I'm talking about. You don't know the name of it, but you heard it before, and you always think of slow things when you hear it. Let me go get my guitar. <laughs> You get the idea. You lizard, lizard, lizard. Did he just quote the Taco Bell Godzilla commercial? Wow, who remembers that shit? Guys, I'll be honest, I didn't play this one very much. I must have gotten back the third or fourth stage before I finally said no more. When I was killing mutants, I was having fun. When I shoot things, it's fun. It's when the game asked me to do simple platforming when I lost my shit. <laughs> The controls are just absolutely so horrible, it's impossible to do just regular good old-fashioned platforming. And when it asks me to do so, 
I just cannot do it. It wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for the fact that sometimes your jumps don't even register when you push the jump button. And you have to get a running start before you can jump forward. I tried countless times to get past this one spot. At some point, I finally did. Maybe Hazel Cristo showed mercy on me. And it rewards me with this thing I've got to hold on to while shooting these fire bats that I swear I cannot kill. And I don't know how, but somehow I managed to fall off. And it was at this exact point that I shut the game off. One out of ten, and it only gets that point because of Gator Waifu. Land of the Babes is almost the exact same game with different levels. Only difference being I was actually able to make it pretty far in this game. In fact, I think I beat it. By cheating. By, che by cheating. Hi guys, Stu from the future here. I actually had to re-upload this video. The game has this really cheesy intro cutscene and it has music behind it and apparently the music is by a real band with a really real content ID. I had a lot to say about the music, which is a shame I have to mute it. You're not missing anything though. In fact, I think some of this cutscene is actually reused from Time to Kill. That's the same strip club. Yeah, this is literally the same game, but it seems like it's a little bit more polished. You don't have to push a button to grab a ledge anymore and the jumping is slightly faster. One weird thing though, if you have your gun out and you grab a ledge, you can't pull yourself up. You have to unequip your gun. Time to Kill did that too. This game actually has a story, believe it or not. Earth Defense Force, ain't that a game too? Oh look, it's Jarma. I make all of the rules, bitch. Duke, I'm Jane Biltmore, a member of the Unified Babe Resistance. I was sent here by our leader, Houston, to update you on the situation. Why, were Dallas and Austin too busy? <laughs> Duke has been sent to the future. All men are dead and all women are slaves to the alien bastards. All except for the, and I can't believe I'm saying this, babe resistance. So it's not just pig cops this time around. We've also got mutant rats and some kind of alien form of monkey. The enemies are a lot harder too. I spent most of this game low on hell. We could find a way out of this section of the base. I'm on it, Jane. Consider it done. I'll see you topside. Duke out. Riley, turn the game console off right now. I wish I could. Hello? What's up? What's up? Did I mention that Time to Kill and Land of the Babes both have a fuck ton of hit scanners? Because they do. Low health and four hit scanners in a small confined space? Hell yeah. Try this. I'll be back. Next, we get a turret section, which is not great, but not offensive. And while blasting hit scanners in a low draw distance PlayStation open arena, I started debating whether or not Time to Kill or Land of the Babes is worse. Time to Kill was so bad I couldn't finish it, but Land of the Babes I'm actually making progress in. So maybe it's gonna be okay? Then the water levels happened. Oh. Oh God, they're so bad. And I already hate water levels, but these are really fucking bad. Where do I begin? How about the sharks? Oh, let me tell you about the sharks. The sharks take a million hits to kill, but you're not going to be able to kill them because they will be too busy killing you. They grab you, shake you around and take chunks off your health. And there's no post hit invincibility. So it's possible that they might do it again before you even have control over your movements again. It'll get you again. And if they're there's two sharks, you are fucked. It's almost like they're scripted to take turns butt fucking you. Now the game is fully aware that the sharks are cheap and stupid, so they give you a weapon to kill them with. The torpedo launcher. You wanna know what it does? Damn. Kills you in one hit with blast damage, and it's impossible to aim. There is a lock-on feature in this game though, so I guess if you're far enough away you can try it. Damn. It's like a monkey's paw rocket launcher. Oh yeah, it kills anything in one hit. And you. Oh god, not more slow ass climbing. What a thrill. Oh, three sharks now. Well, I am fucking screwed. I love how when they bite you, they sound like a diesel engine. Oh, no, there's four. I saw a fourth one. Hicksville Fire Department. Isn't Hicksville where Redneck Rampage takes place? Hey, Bubba, we're in one of them Duker Nuker games. Have you ever tried to put lipstick on a pig cop? I have. Here's one part that really tested my fucking patience. It's making me mad just looking at this footage. Oh, I hated this. You see that gray platform right there? I need to get on top of there. Okay, we'll just jump on top of it and get on there. No! 
Well, it turns out this platform has the world's worst collision detection, and I've already got the world's worst jumping, so you put that together, and I cannot get on this platform. What if I grab the ledge from the side? Nope, nope, that don't work. Remember how I said you need to get a running start to jump forward? Let's try that. Nopers. And it doesn't help that Duke doesn't want to grab onto this ledge when I fall down, so I take 100 forevers trying to get set back up. Okay, what if I climb up this pole and then jump off? Oh shit, he's pole dancing, baby! Look at him go! Look at him go! So apparently you can't jump off the pole. What if I make a leap of faith off this platform and then try to land on the other platform? Shit, I missed! And I'm stuck. Let's try that again! Let's try just jumping on it again. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Holy shit, I did it! Now I can get out of this horrible level, what? No, 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 no. I'm so glad I made a save state because if I hadn't, everybody around me in a 10 mile radius would be dead. So they bothered to put a slope right there at the end of this platform to make sure you slide all the way back down. That's nice. Whoever made this level, I hope your mother gets dysentery. Now I wonder what's behind corridor number two. Oh fuck off with the sharks! Oh my god! I ain't got time to bleed. That's it. That is fucking it. You have pushed me until I cannot be pushed anymore. We are doing a level select code. Duke Nukem. More like doo doo Nukem. Cock sucking water levels and fucking sharks. Hail to the king. Ha baby. Hail to my fucking middle finger, you roided up pencil dick. So what's this next level? Oh, you are kidding me right now. Not another water level. And it's one of them with those valve puzzles where you have to turn the water up and down. Oh god, I hate this. At least it's a short level. I actually finished it. What's the next one? Another water level? Oh my god! How many water levels are in this game? You know what? I'm gonna find out. What's after this one? Underwater streets? Gee, I wonder what that is. What's the one after that? What's that smell? Okay, you already know what I'm about to say. So say it with me. This game! And it's a sewer. A sewer that smells so bad the poo gases hurt you. What's this gun they gave me here? Oh shit, it's like a death ray. If I didn't hate literally everything about this game, I would think this gun is awesome. Oh, and what is this? Water? Next! Hello, monkey. Let's see how you like invincibility and infinite rocket launcher. Who's next? Yeah, get fucked, game. <laughs> no way you're gonna keep me from trying to have fun in your shitty game. Like I said, get fucked. Let's just go ahead and give the final boss his anal cactus fisting. That'll teach those alien maggots not to mess with my planet. Now it's time for some serious R&R, Duke style. Hail to the king, baby. Guys, the ending of this game could not be more Duke Nukem if it tried. It almost sounds like Duke Nukem made this game himself. Since Duke Nukem is the only man alive, it is up to him to repopulate the planet. So he literally fucks every woman in the world. I am personally putting every single person on this credit screen in my hit list. <laughs> We still have two more games. Duke Nukem Zero Hour was on the Nintendo 64 and was made by a different company, Eurocom. What else did they make? Oh no. Oh, why did I dig that back up? I forgot that existed. Ah! Looking good, pal. Who the hell are you, my evil twin? I'm you, genius. Only back in time. Yes, all three of these third-person Duke games have to do with time travel. In this one, you have to collect parts of a time machine to put it together to go to other levels. 
I think. I can't imagine having to play this with an N64 controller. As for me, I just mapped the controls on my PS3 controller to do the old school twin stick movement. It actually almost feels like Max Payne. Fun fact, Lee Jackson actually did the soundtrack to Zero Hour, and you can tell too. Come get some. I gotta say it runs pretty smooth for N64 as well. Could this possibly be the light at the end of the tunnel? Don't count on it! Our first problem comes with these pig cops that throw stink bombs. They'll drain your health really quick if you don't take care of them. They're another enemy that if there's a bunch of them, that's gonna be a huge problem. However, you can equip a gas mask that makes you immune to the stink bombs. I'm sorry, the radium cyanide. Yeah, and my body is made of depression and self-hate. Uh, yeah. The end is nigh. Yeah, we've been saying that since 2020. Where's our giant meteor, damn it? Look, they almost fixed the jumping. It still takes too long to build up, but you have full control over it midair. Here, Eurocom, you earned this. The second level is unfortunately where it falls completely apart. It's one of those levels that has so many holes and traps and shit that makes it to where you have to backtrack through half the damn level to get back where you were. Oh my god, are those head crabs? Look. Gordon, plagiarism. Oh god, no. Not water. Anything but water, dear god, please. And it's another have to change the water level to solve the puzzle things. Eat my hemorrhoided anus. I am at one health, I am in the water, and something is shooting at me, and I can't see it. What? And it was at this point that when I tried to load a save state, I accidentally hit save. So in classic Nintendo fashion, I have to start the level all over again. God, end my suffering! Stuart K. Riley, you don't have to play that horrible sack of shit. Behold, a good Duke Nukem game. Okay, stop that, stop that, stop that. I'm not that kind of YouTuber. We're not going there. I'm not about to do some nostalgia critic tier comedy. Yes, we have one more game, and no, it's actually not that bad. It's Manhattan Project. I lied. We are going to talk about it. This game does not have a time travel plot. Radioactive material got put in the water supply, which turned all the animals into mutants and Hey, Duke needs something to do. New York. If I can kill him here, I can kill him anywhere. So this one's a two and a half D side stroller, and you got your shooting, you got your platforming, you got your jumping, it's all here. Jarmo, didn't I just make a joke about him? I hate pigs. You think Duke's Twitter says A cab? There's a double jump in this game, but it doesn't work half the time, and apparently this was a common problem. Because of something to do with the graphics, the double jump only works when it wants to. That makes absolutely no sense, but that's the reason. It almost feels like there's some reason why the double jump isn't working there. Like the game doesn't want you to jump there. It's weird. Like I want to double jump right here to grab this ladder, but I cannot double jump to save my life in this one particular spot. What is this selective jumping syndrome? Mother key cards. Oh, buddy, you are right to be wrong, ain't you? You're just right out of my aim. Hold up, hold up. Give me a second. <laughs> Hey, buddy. No hard feelings. In fact, here's a pipe bomb for you. Yeah, the pipe bombs are awesome in this game. So Manhattan Project isn't a standard left to right side scroller. You have to do a little moving around, going through doors and stuff, getting the key card, and then getting to the exit. It's not near as linear as it looks. You also have to save women who are strapped to bombs. All yours, Duke. Babes, bullets, bombs. Damn, I love this job. You'll also fight bosses now and again, and honestly, they're kind of cool. And when you finish a level, you get a really awesome version of the Duke theme. Time to deliver Max Payne on the A train. Uh huh, because one of the first maps is a subway. I gotcha. Oh. Oh, that's.
That didn't age well. Other than that, I don't have very much bad to say about this game. You know what? I would even go as far as to say, go check it out. Or I would say that. You see, Manhattan Project used to be on Steam and GOG for the longest time. In fact, I think the other side-scrolling Duke Nukem games were on there. And the Megaton edition of Duke 3D. Then Randy happened. Randy took them all down and replaced them with Duke 3D World Tour. And now the only way to get Duke Nukem Manhattan Project is to get it from the Xbox 360 store, I'm dead serious, or find a physical copy. It's a shame. We wouldn't pirate games if we could get them. When will people learn that? Thanks a lot, Randy bitch fart. Make it hard for everybody. I hope Duke Nukem shoves his mighty foot up your dick hole. Blow it out your ass. Subscribe to Working Man Games, you introverted boomers, or he's gonna go on a redneck rampage. Hey, Bubba, look, it's Rambo. And another one down for the count oh my god guys you have no idea how bad these games were oh man they drained me physically and mentally not to mention i kind of had to rush this episode because most of the month i've been without power because we had a big bad ice storm in here in louisiana so i was without power for a while i still got it done though here it is and on schedule too can't keep me down so if you enjoyed this you know what to do if you didn't you know what to do so let me talk to my patrons here let's see let's shut y'all out. All my love goes out to Slayer Coon, Frederick Strum, Harry Amorous, Pharrell the Gecko, Furry Butler, Joshua Kerrig, Royal Vavian, Rush Nerd, Shivazin, Commissar Elusive, Project Godzilla, and Vertaro. Thank y'all all so much. You guys are wonderful. And I will see y'all later.